eBay, the last frontier of online shopping. In a world full of ultra-professional looking sleek corporate websites, it's refreshing from time to time to stumble into the online equivalent of your uncle's junk-filled garage. eBay thrives on its core purpose. It allows you to use it to sell your stuff, pretty much whenever and <laughs> whatever you want. And with that, you can probably see where the problem arises. Like with absolutely anything online that gives its users a single ounce of freedom, there is always going to be a minority of users that <laughs> do their own thing. And eBay most definitely has one of these dark sides. And I've been itching to explore it. So over the past few months, I have gathered as many of these eBay listings as I could find, past and present from all corners of the internet, to share with you today. As always with this series, I'm equal parts excited and <laughs> absolutely scared shitless. So without any more stalling, let's jump right into the wild west that is eBay. Okay, once again, I'm going to go through as many of these as I can possibly bring myself to do. Starting off with none other than the entire state of Oklahoma. For a whopping <laughs> $29.99, Selling Oklahoma, we don't really need it. <laughs> Offers accepted. Hold up, they've sold seven of these? They've sold seven Oklahomas? Shipped from Pennsylvania? The plot thickens. Pancakes from Denny's. It seems they've been put up for auction. I went to Denny's and realized I was not hungry when I ordered my pancakes, but it was too late because I already got them. Trying to make up for my losses. The pancakes are already buttered, fucking pre-buttered, and there are two complete pancakes. This one's a fucking classic. Somebody fucking uprooted one of the Walmart poles to make a quick $15. Fresh cooked, full-size hot dog, $6.95. I cannot imagine receiving this in the mail because it already looks rancid. Unopened Coca-Cola can. Two thousand dollars. One piece. Goat salt and pepper shakers. I'm not sure if you quite understand the absurdity of what I just said. This is one single container. It's a salt and pepper shaker that is entirely one piece. Meaning that when you turn it over to dispense one of those, I think it's pretty safe to assume the other's coming out too. I don't know who the hell came up with this design and why on top of that they decided to make it <laughs> elongated and wrinkly. Literally just an empty Sprite can I found on my floor. $50,000 and $1 shipping. Of course, I couldn't have possibly made this video without mentioning the mythical Cleveland Brown Skylander. I need it! Single green Myconike in incredibly rare masculine shape for female pleasure. A bag of air from <laughs> Wakanda breathed by THE Black Panther. This listing contains a very ominous looking picture of a sandwich bag filled with a unhealthy looking shade of yellow liquid. And it's simply titled Drake P. He does not elaborate on how he came into possession of this artifact. But don't worry, it is graded a PSA 10. Burnt Kirby plush. This is the corpse of Kirby. He was lit on fire. He is in hell now. You can watch this video of him burning to death? <laughs> Dear God. Who the hell is my boy Tremulous Kringlebottom? And what the fuck is he doing on eBay for $9.84? Strange, bizarre, odd collection of shoes I found on the side of the road. A baker's dozen. This one's cropped to high hell, and I, I don't know if I can show it on YouTube, but I can confirm that it is in fact a mummified cat slam dunking a mummified bird into a basketball hoop. For some godforsaken reason. 
one genuine fart in a jar. Real fart inside. Dude, who is who is buying this? A piece of cardboard shaped a bit like an iPhone 5. You mean you mean a rectangle? Used. Used for what? P- penis cheese ball? Why does every food item put on eBay look so rancid? And why is it put into the category of camping meals? Vintage Furby Lot, please read description. These Furbies stink. They have a really pungent smell like urine. I have to know, who ended up buying the fucking piss Furbies? This one is actually not a listing, it's a negative feedback left on a seller's page, but I just had to include it. This seller is a shill bidder, will do everything to drive up the prices on their own listings. Also cancels bids in the middle of the listing if price is not high enough. This seller comes from a family of generational poverty. Peasantry is embedded into the very fiber of their being. The seller is and will forever be unable to satisfy their significant other due to their physical ineptitude. Dude, I get the frustration, but you did not have to put them on blast that hard. Holy shit. Okay, this one's actually another feedback one. We got a little timeline to read here. Thanks. Game arrived quick and as described. Thanks. Fast shipping would deal with again. There was a condom in my package saying... Call me. Great item, great eBayer, will buy from again. Yummy treat surprise. It's only $10,000. Dude, you cannot pay me $10,000 to touch that. I ain't gonna be the one that figures out what the surprise is. One piece of plain printer paper. Okay, this one's one of my favorites. It's for some bootleg family guy plushes. You have your choice between the child and the dog. Your advertisement tattooed on me. I have seen other people do this. However, there are many more benefits when it comes to me. Number one, currently live in a highly populated metropolitan area. Number two, open to placing tattoo in a visible area. Number three, I commute daily. (laughs) I will agree that the tattoo will never be removed covered over or altered unless the permanent dissolution of your company comes to be. I can have the tattoo done in the presence of you or your representative, or you can give me exactly what you want done. I will have it completed. I would be more than happy to include a legal binding life contract for a minimum period of time making you the beneficiary should I live less than a specified minimum amount of time. Bonus, I agree to 40 hours of training, educating myself and studying the product or service that is offered, so that when asked about the tattoo, I can provide correct answers and provide accurate advertising for the company. Oh my god. I don't know the lore behind this one. It's a T-shirt of Pope Francis holding a cheesesteak with the text, I'm just here for the cheesesteaks. And now for the final listing of this video, we have a dirty old penny. (laughs) That's about it. But at least he knows what he's got. I want to thank you so much for watching. It really means the most to me. I really hope that you enjoyed it and were able to laugh along with me at all these hilarious and terrible eBay listings. If you did, definitely go check out the other videos in this hilariously bad series. I've made ones on two sentence horror stories, Google and Amazon reviews, and (laughs) Facebook Marketplace, which I'm sure you can imagine all have some pretty interesting offerings. But that's all I got for this one. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one. I want some cheeseburgers just to eat. I'm talking ketchup, my nigga must sit on a beat. You gotta put a lot of lettuce, please. Because I like to have a lot of green. I remember eating outside with my whole team. Now a nigga gotta stay home because of corn.